and plateaus happen even while doing true alternate day fasting. So in theory, yes. Um, I hesitate on the word plateaus because I look at a plateau as our weight is not changing or shifting at all, at least for two to three weeks. So if you're seeing your trend line go down on happy scale or whatever weight tracking app you're using, you're seeing that your weight is going down week to week on some level, then it's not a plateau. I know we sometimes think of it as that because we want to see more loss, but it's not really a plateau. Now, if your weight has completely been stagnant, then yes, yeah, something's up. And usually the culprit is what we're doing in our eating windows, how much we're eating. We may be overestimating how much our calorie range is. We may be underestimating you know, um, our workout routine or our activity levels. Um, and so kind of figuring that out. With alternate day fasting, your best way in in any kind of fasting schedule is the morning before you break your last fast of the week. With alternate day fasting, there is no last fast of the week because you're literally fasting every other day. So you may not see after one fast a drop. And that can be because of the food that you ate previously. You could have had something higher in sodium. You could be retaining water for some reason. It might be because of stress levels. It could be because of sleep. It could be because of your monthly cycle. There's still a lot of factors that can come up in our kind of day to day. So I, for especially for alternate day fasting, look at week to week progress. So I'd pick one day of the week, the morning before you break your fast. So on week one, it would be like Saturday morning or Sunday morning. On week two, it would be Saturday morning. And I'd compare those weigh-ins and I would see if I'm seeing progress. I wouldn't compare it on a day to day basis because a day to day can be really, really tricky. Um, so technically, yes, plateaus can happen. They're really rare. And as soon as you start seeing that there's no changes, that's when we want to analyze food intake, how much we're eating, experimenting with our TDE windows, figuring out exercise, things like that. There's usually a culprit.